going on guys welcome back to cheese me report i'm your host danny flores que rollo con todos ustedes welcome to another beautiful live here on a monday thank you guys for being here yes i'm on my second page because bro we got to talk about it um i'm getting sick and tired of facebook um being straight up but i'm gonna wait for you guys to come in i'm actually gonna go share this live right now because a lot of people don't follow me here I mean, a lot of people do, but you know what I mean? Like, no one, I, they get notified, I guess. Uh, so let me go share that real quick before I do anything else. Hey, hey, was Gucci was good. Thank you for joining me. Thank you so much. I'm glad you guys found me. Damn, okay, you guys are popping on, popping up, popping in. All right, let me share. I'm alive over here, guys. So the reason also I wasn't going to do like a cross post is because I once again, I can't see the comments, y'all. And I'm going to be have to like I have to look at my phone. I don't want to do all that crap. Um, I just want the comments right here on my computer in one screen. Uh, you're found. Yes, bro. I should be having a lot more people here because the achievement is so good. But hopefully a lot of you guys um, come on right now. I'm waiting I just shared it. So, yeah, if you guys could do me a big favor, share the video, share the live. That way, I don't know if you guys are friends among each other, but you guys know, like, yo, Danny's live. Go, go, go. Um, but, yeah, let's talk about it, dude. Let's talk about why is Facebook doing this, bro? Why is Facebook? And, you know, people have theories. I have theories. Well, I, I don't have a theory. I'm just going out based off your theories, uh, what people are telling me via DMs and comments. One is uh, someone's after me. <laughs> they don't, they want to keep me shut, which, you know, I can't I can't prove that. Um, but when I do, I'll let you guys know. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, second is this whole podcast I had on Friday. Listen, guys, if you don't agree with a person I have on my show, my podcast, you don't got to do all that. You don't got to go report the cheese my report, y'all. Please. It Sorry. It affects me so bad. As in like, yo, I do this shit for a living. <laughs> like you're taking income from my family, y'all. But um yeah, seriously, um I'm going to have guests here that you guys don't agree with sometimes and yeah, you just either suck it up or just leave, bro. Like, you don't have to watch it. There's no way. There's no need for you guys to hit that report button. Because, like I said, it affects me, y'all. That's one theory, right? Because people are like, yo, it's probably the guest you had on, on Friday. I said, no, I don't think so. Um, the only message I got from Facebook was this, right? I was trying to... Actually, I, I went to my phone and looked. Because I did not know what um, what TCR show was this. Um, I was like, what what show is it? Like 60? I I think this is 63. Damn, I can't believe I, I've done 63 shows already for y'all. But um, anyways, I went and then I, I noticed like, yo, what's going on? I'm not seeing because I usually see the, the monetization through my phone. I'm like, bro, this happened last time. What was it a month ago or two months ago? I don't know when it happened. And I'm like, bro, this happened last time. So I went on my computer. I went to go check. And uh, yeah, this this is what it told me. Not eligible to monetize on live streams. Your page can't can't earn money on live streams because it it was flagged for behavior or content that goes against our partner monetization policies or content monetization policy. Bro, what? First, um, so it was flagged. So I'm, I'm guessing someone literally reported it. Someone literally reported it. Uh, for behavior or content that goes, bro. <laughs> so, out of these whole four months, or I've been I've been on a uh, our Facebook since September of 2022. Out of these whole months, someone finally decides, yo, I don't like his content. Let me go, or not someone, right? Facebook decides, yo, he's not he's not following guidelines, like. Out of these whole months, bro, I've been here since September. That cracks me up, bro. And that's all I got. That's all I got. I got no message from Facebook. Nada. 
I even checked my inbox because uh, let me check it one more time because Facebook does message you saying, yo, this is what you did wrong, blah, blah, blah. And uh, yeah, nothing like there's nothing. The first time I got in trouble, they did say, yo, you got in trouble for this for child A, you know, child whatever. Uh, I don't even want to say because I'm scared. I'm scared of risking this account. <laughs> so, yeah, this time nothing was shown to me. So I was like, bro. I think I'm I'm just going to go back to to YouTube, y'all. YouTube is so much uh, better over there. You know, I, I'm seeing some names being brought up. I don't know. I can't accuse of anyone reporting my page, but let me just tell you, if I find out that was the case, uh, it, it'll get interesting, y'all. It'll get interesting. Um, but yeah, I'm glad some of you guys made it. Thank you guys so much. Um, let me just make sure. People saw my posts before I continue with the cheese mate. Cause bro, this cheese mate, y'all had me busy all freaking weekend. All weekend. Uh yes, and I'm 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 thinking of just doing my shows on YouTube because guys, I can't be having this all the time, bro. All the time. And I, I do, I wish, uh, you know, I hope if I do move to YouTube, you guys follow over there because um, yeah. You guys are the best. But anyways, let's let's get straight to the cheese. We have 449 people here. 56. Uh, even if you found out who it was, Sally, there's nothing you can do. Yeah, I know. But, you know, karma is a biatch. Um, okay, let's just get into it. As many of you know, over the weekend, some leaked audios were leaked. Some audios, some audios were leaked, guys. And um, yeah, it... It's just a shame, dude. It's just a shame. I couldn't. I I couldn't believe it. And I, I'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you guys. Um, I was upset seeing this. Um, like everyone was. Everyone was upset. But if you guys did not hear, these audios basically are of Lola. She says that you know two of her friends. She she threw she threw two of her friends under the bus, which was Yessi and Beauty by Bianca. And just in case you guys haven't heard them, we're going to review them right now. Um, that way, you know, you guys could refresh your memory because this was, I guess, two days ago. Not too sure. Saturday, Friday. I don't know when it was. I don't know when it was. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hear these audio clips. Uh, yeah, let's go. Like a few of them. Like, there's only like 10 people that have messaged us like, hey, this girl's talking about you and it's so disrespectful, whatever. Nobody has said, oh, that's so fucked up, we did this stuff. No one. It's just so many people are reporting it. A few handful of people are reporting it, and that's it. So it's not like all over my news feed, news feed like, oh, my God, did you see blah, 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 blah. It's nothing, like, huge like that. Hold on. I got to re- I gotta read this comment. You mentioned karma and then proceed to expose personal voice messages. That's karma messing your page. Um, I did not expose these messages. I'm literally talking about the cheese man that went down the weekend. Uh, yes, karma is very real. Maybe this is my karma for, you know, exposing stuff. But you know what? It is what it is. People can't handle the truth. And yeah, I'm going to just keep doing my job. Um, I don't want to say exposing people because I really don't expose people. I just talk about the cheese man. So like, honestly, I don't know why you're here if you don't want to hear these messages or you don't want me to talk about anyways you're confusing but yeah let sorry guys i just had to i had to say something let me let's continue let me shut up that bitch has just been talking about me since the event like eight days later she's still talking about me so this morning ryan's like wakes up and he's like oh i need to tell you something and she's like that steph girl is saying that you and pedro have something going on and i'm like oh my fucking god what did i just tell you Last night, I just fucking told you not to bring her name up anymore, not to fucking say anything, not to look at her page anymore. And he's like, well, we were getting tagged. And I'm like, oh, my fucking God. And now he's all moody and depressed and fucking, uh, it's, I'm going to fucking hit him. Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah, ultimately, it's going to pass, but it's consuming our minds. I can tell. I know it's consuming his mind because he's like, you know, so after everything we've been through and stuff. I'm like, no, it's after whatever you've been through, what all the thoughts in your head. Ultimately, at the end of the day, you were insecure and you took it out on us. I never did nothing. I never did nothing. And I'm like, and if for any reason you thought I would do something, um, don't you know that Yessi fucks with him and Bianca? Like, why would I do that to my friends that fuck with him? 
<laughs> you know? Like, I would never go and try to talk to a guy knowing that my friends fuck with him. And then I'm like, I'm pretty sure Pedro doesn't even know that this wake up and make up by Steph girl is talking about him. I'm like, and that's the way that we should be. I'm like, we're not on her level. We're so above her level. He's like, well, they're saying this, this. I'm like, I don't fucking care. I don't fucking care what they're saying. I don't give a fuck what they say about me. I don't care. They're so, like, jealous. Like, literally, they're so jealous. A lot of it's people so, are jealous. Like, you said that I, I didn't give you attention, and we only talked for, like, I think we only talked for, like, two minutes. And out of those two minutes, you got all of this information. No, you didn't, bitch. You hated me before. You hated me before. You didn't like me before. You were sus about me before. And I didn't do nothing to you but be nice to you. I said hi to you at the club, and, and then I went back to, with everybody, and then you left. You didn't come back, and I didn't reach out. I didn't care. I didn't notice. And then I saw you at the event. Again, it was only for like two minutes. We took a picture, and that was it. And those five minutes, or let's round up, ten minutes that I gave you out of my life, you collected all of this. <laughs> There's no fucking way you collected all of this. You said that I didn't include you, but you got so much information. Like, girl, you didn't like me from the beginning. <laughs> and that's fine. That is her. And that was it. And those five minutes, or let's round up, ten minutes that I gave you out of my life, you collected all of this. <laughs> There's no fucking way you collected all of this. You said that I didn't include you but you got so much information like girl you didn't like me from the beginning <laughs> and that's fine that is totally fine i can see her jealousy like just fucking beaming out of her eyes i'm like i'm not gonna do anything about it i'm not gonna think about it i don't want to think about it i just want to fucking go do something so i'm like i don't know i'm gonna keep my mind busy because these blushes are taking forever i'm like i need to do something so i can't deal with ryan like i'm not gonna deal with him i'm like i need space and he's like really you need space when i'm like i'm like don't even fucking come for me Stay talking about that because i told you yesterday don't fucking bring her up anymore okay so that was um uh, hold on this is this video is gonna play so that was uh the messages that uh or the audios I'm telling you once again they were leaked um that were uh you know i think it was there were the, the the audios that were leaked on Saturday. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't even know if it was Saturday. Guys, I don't know. <laughs> Let me know when it was. Uh, I had a long ass weekend. Uh, <laughs> but let's go back because I do want to I want to tell I, I want to show you guys this again because she denies it on her response video. And I'm like, bro, there is no way you could deny throwing your friends under the bus. Right. There's no way you literally said it. Uh, so let me go back and play this part where she throws her friends under the bus just to 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 express my thoughts on this situation. OK, where the heck is. Okay. My Steph girl is talking about it. I'm like, and that's the way that we should be. I'm like, we're not on her level. We're so above her level. He said, like, well, they're saying this, this. I'm like, I don't fucking care. I don't fucking care what they're saying. I don't give a fuck what they say about me. I don't care. They're so like jealous. Like literally, they're so jealous. Wait, did I like, pass so, it already? Like, Hold on. like, why would I do that to my friends that okay, you've you been through? What all the thoughts in your head? Ultimately, at the end of the day, you were insecure and you took it out on us. I never did nothing. I never did nothing. And I'm like, and if for any reason you thought I would do something, um, don't you know that Jesse fucks with him and Bianca? Like, why would I do that to my friends that? With <laughs> all right so you guys heard it okay in her response she said she meant vibing she meant like yo uh i meant like yo why would it does not make sense either if she meant vibing she's like no i didn't mean it like that i didn't mean anything sexual which we'll get into her response guys but she goes i meant it like uh vibing bro why would you be pissed if your friends vibe with another person <laughs> or God, sorry i gotta play this again y'all um, don't you know that Jesse fucks with him and Bianca? Like, why would I do that to my friends that fuck with him? <laughs> why would your friends get mad if you vibe with another person, dude? Why? <laughs> why? You literally said it here. 
something. Um, don't you know that Jesse fucks with him and Bianca? Like, why would I do that to my friends that fuck with him? <laughs> you know? Mind you, you know, her, maybe a better answer but to that whole thing, a better response was, why would I do this if I have, no, let me, let me rephrase that. Why would I do this if I'm married and have a beautiful family? That's a better response, no? Instead of, you know, not trying to lose friendships. Bro, why? <laughs> why not respond with that? I'm just seeing it. I'm just saying it how it is. Uh, my opinion, obviously, don't have to agree with me. Um, but isn't that a better response? Like, yo, I no, I'm not going to mess with anyone else because I love you. Like talking about Ryan. I love you. I love our family, blah, blah, blah. But no, it's Yessi and Bianca that are more important in this scenario. Why? I don't know. Maybe they bring in good money. Maybe they bring in good money to her company and she don't want to lose that. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, remember that. Remember that. So now let's go to what Lola had to say in her response video because she apparently apologized. And uh, yeah, I did not see this. Uh, like I said, I was busy. So we're going to watch it. Not the whole thing. I did uh, or someone did uh, send me like key moments of the live. So we're going to go ahead and and watch that real quick because um it just cracks me up y'all like take accountability dude i think people will respect influencers that say yo i did this i messed up it is what it is and uh, let's move forward but no it, it just goes in circles every single time so let, let's see what she said um um I was kind of talking to Ryan about this morning about like getting back into it and stuff like that and how I'm feeling and shit like that. But it's just so much shit that's happening um, behind the scenes that um, that I'm not like, you know, going into it with on online videos and stuff like that. So it, it's still so much like it, it just keeps going, you know, and I feel like um, I have to roll with I have to just like roll with the punches. <laughs> hold on hold on sorry sorry my page gets fucked up demonetized when i just feel cheese man but people could smoke on here i'm not even trying to this just came up right because i'm i'm kind of pissed about what happened but people i'm not talking specifically about lola or ryan but i seen people beg and ask for money and smoke when they could do that bro i'm literally chambiando right here what the fuck <laughs> bro I'm giving myself some time and space. So, like, I'm my still page will my get Instagram. reported again. <coughs> I'm still posting on my Instagram story, like throughout my day. And that stuff hurt like my that. throat. But um, <coughs> you guys know, like everything, um, everything has been happening because of my uh, personal assistant that I had. Um, so it's wait, Gabby was your personal assistant? I thought she was your admin. Hmm, interesting. Should have paid her more, to be honest, if she was in a personal assistant, bro. Just, it feels like it's never ending. It's legal where they at. I know, it, guys, I'm here in the same state. I know it's legal, but, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Which is, like, you know, the only thing I could do is just fucking pray about it and, like, you know, do what I need to do. Um, like, off camera, you know? Um, and talk to the people I need to talk to, reach out, make, do that. But like, it's like get to the point now where it's like companies, get them reaching out to companies, um, friends, um, just like a bunch, a bunch of other uh, people. So it's like, it's starting to become now like, oh shit, like um, this person's out to get me. And um, it's becoming way more personal. And it hurts, it fucking hurts. I'm not going to be a little bitch about it. It hurts. It fucking hurts because it's crazy because it's personal to her. But when it comes to like Gabby or anyone she hurt, it's not personal. Like these people you hurt also have a story, dog. Like they have a story. They were hurt by you. But if they come out with shit, it's personal. It's not. You know what I'm what I'm trying to say? Like, why could why can't they come out with shit trying to defend themselves? But you can you know, I don't know if that makes sense, but it just, it's just crazy. It's crazy. You think you fuck with people, you know, and, um, you know, you live and you learn, you fucking live and you learn. That's the only thing that you can say is you live and you learn. Um, 
you start realizing like who really gonna fuck with you and yesterday i stepped out um because ryan i mean Pedro and ryan were doing their thing and i stepped out because i got a message from yesi and bianca and i was like like instantly i'm like they're like hey we messaged you we you haven't seen our messages and i was like oh shit sorry baby like i was live what happened what's up they're telling me some voice clip that they listened to and shit like that and i was like oh fuck like um and i'm like send it like like let's talk about it let's let's figure it out because i already know that they're clipping they're like clipping things <laughs> listen this is just me you entre me me my opinion if you're watching this me me <laughs> You did not pick up the phone because I think you were trying to come up with something. And then when you came up with something like a story, you were like, yo, OK, let's talk. This is just me, though. Don't get offended. <laughs> and putting them and trying to make it like not the whole story, just like a little. My verbiage that I use, like, oh, um, the voice clip was like uh, Bianca and um, Jesse um, fuck with Pedro. And the way that I talk, I'm like, oh, we uh, we fucks with each other, or they fuck, uh, they're fucking like, that's how we talk. Well, that's how I talk. I'm not gonna say we. I talk like that. Like we fucks with him, or um, like they fucks with each other, or stuff like that. And they made it into like a thing, like oh, they're having sex. And I'm like, it was that. I got so drawn back, like what the fuck but then i realized you know i'm not the my brain is not the only person in this fucking world so the way that i talk it does come it does sound like that i'm like it does sound like oh, they're fucking i'm like yeah i'm like they're fucking with each other so it's like the way that i say it it did come out like that and, and then i realized like i could talk like that to my friends okay so if you didn't mean it like that then why were you trying to defend yourself with ryan <laughs> with ryan Bro, do I have to play that again? Like, why do you think, if, if you're only talking about vibing? What? <laughs> my God. Like, my homegirls, you know? Like, oh, we fucks with each other. We've been fucking with each other, like, for, like, a year now, you know? Um, or they fuck with each other. Like, um, I, that's something that you could talk with friends, only, like, really close homegirls, like, that you grew up with. But now I'm, like, I, they're so, I'm t show, telling Ryan, like, I thought, I'm in the in a, in a state of mind where I want to change, and like st since the beginning of this year, I made I've been making so many changes, and I thought I told Ryan I'm like literally feel I'm proud of myself for that, but then I real I'm realizing more and more, no, there's more changes that you. Someone said love when she says when people are clipping. Yeah, it's not clipping, it's not. It's literally, it's it's the original one. You have to do now. You have to like. You know, watch your verbiage and how you say words because they can, they're going to twist up anything that you say now. And I was telling him, like, I think that, and it, I think that it's very important for me to understand that. I don't want people to, and then I go back to people like, no, don't change. We love how you talk. Be you. So you're just like getting tugged like, like this. And I feel like I'm getting tugged more because I'm a brand. And I was like, I, I honestly, I thought I was a shop. I was like, oh, I'm just a shop where people come and like buy stuff and kick it, you know, like I just felt like that. But then I, I'm starting to realize that uh, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm seen as a brand, like a big brand, like, um, and I, I, I'm, I'm flattered. I, I really am. I like, I'm like, whoa. And I'm like, you know what? It, that's right. Like you want to be a brand, like you have to like act like this. And you ha you can't be cool with everybody. You can't fucking talk shit with everybody. You can't be like, oh, we fucks with him. We've been fucking with him. You can't say that. You can't talk like that. Bro, you can't keep justifying this. Why <laughs> you said it, dude? Just say, yo, I'm sorry. I I, I said it, and uh, move on. And who cares if you lose friendships, dude? Who cares? You'll make more. You'll make more friendships. You'll make more people that bring you the feria, the money. It's okay, honestly. And I'm like, fuck, man, like, and, I, and I, I'm realizing now, like, Ryan, like, my sister and Ryan are like, you have to have a medium. Like, you can't, like, when people say, be yourself, don't do that the whole time. <laughs> you can't be yourself around a certain people because they will use it against you. So if I'm like, ah, I'm going in the pool, they're going to be like, yeah, she was fucking drunk. She was this, she was doing that. She was doing the most for attention because they were out, they came to fucking get you. They didn't come to want to get to know you and vibe with you and accept you. They came to do something to you and find something out about you to use against you. That's why they came to kick it with you. 
they didn't come to kick it with you or want to kick you with you um or help you um answer messages they came because they wanted something from you they wanted to come, observe, they wanted yeah, to, come so. to observe and how you are and judge you and you me stupid as fuck. why are you talking about this if you're the one that sent those those memos out talking about your friend like this is not well at least to me it's not making sense you're not talking about the clips right here at least look i'm like i came adding like waking up like what happened last night and like me and me and everybody that like i i fuck with am i even allowed to say that i'm like i'm still saying fucking um me and all the people bro you're allowed to say that in the right context though <laughs> when you did it when you threw under your friends on the bus you did not say it in that context but anyways people that i fuck with i fuck with them heavy all them i fuck with all my friends heavy if I consider you a friend, I fuck with you heavy. And those are my friendships that are the most important. So it's fucking sad that they're going and sending them those things now and like clipping things. And then I have to go and show the whole thing. And then like, and then I have to talk to them, which I don't have a problem. I don't feel like I'm I'm I, I'm not at all like I know that I, I'm not even like in defend mode. I'm like, well, okay, let's talk about it, baby girl. Like this is what's happening. Da, 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 and I have That's to break so it down. Fake. And it's embarrassing that I have to do it. It's fucking embarrassing because I'm like, fuck, like they saw me, they see me as like, like a brand, <laughs> you know? And then once I break it down to them, they're like, oh, I feel you. I'm so sorry that you're going through that shit. Like that's fucked up. And like, and I'm, then I tell them, yeah, but like, it's my fault. Like I fucked up. Like I trusted this person, you know, like, you know, so they're like, I get it. Like, you know, and th we resolve things and things are perfect. And, um, and, but it's just the, the whole thing behind why, it, why does it have to be like this? But then I'm like, I keep telling myself, you know, God wants it like this. And he knows that you're strong enough to deal with it. And you are. Look, you're making connections. They, You have a friendship outside the camera. We all have friendships outside the camera. And we all vibe. We all kick it. We all do stupid shit because we're comfortable with each other and we're relaxing. Imagine an individual that was not doing that. And it's just... Sorry, all I could do is laugh at this point because there's still people that don't see it right that don't see it that are i'm gonna say it naive as fuck bro there's still people that don't see it and it's okay like like they say love is blind the love they have for lola is blind um but it'll come like there there's gonna come a time where you know people are gonna take the blindfold off and be like oh shit now i see it right because if i'm being honest i was one of those i was one of those persons um one of those people you know, people came to me, people came forward like, yo, please talk about Lola. She did this. She did that. She did this. Uh, and then there's other people that told me the same thing, but were scared to speak out. And you know, through me, I was like, bro, like what? Like, I don't see her this way. They seem really cool. They seem like a cool couple. But bro, more things came out. Every like my blindfold came off. I was like, Rosa, I had my I had the Rosa de Guadalupe moment. Oh, with the fucking air and everything. But, bro, <laughs> there's going to be a point where a lot of people's uh, blindfold comes off. And, uh, yeah, it's going to it's gonna be tough. But, you know, I was one of those. I was one of those. Watching to see what you're going to do, what you guys are going to say, um, who, like, who's kicking it with who, like, um, anything, like, anything. And then the whole fucking Pedro situation, that motherfucker, I swear to God, I'm at this point. I'm like, anywhere he goes, he has something going on with someone. Anywhere he goes, that's like every single event. Oh, he does something that happened with this person with him. And I'm just like, like that kid can't go anywhere without someone fucking pairing him up with somebody. You literally paired him up on your voice memos, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> You literally paired him up with Yessi and Bianca. What the fuck? I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting mad at myself for not believing this um, earlier. And I do apologize that every like for people that came forward and said, "Yo, please speak on this." And I told them, I, I didn't, I didn't tell them off, but I just told them no. Like I, I was honest. I was, I'm not honest, but blunt with them. It's like you know what? No. I'm not. They, they're they really good people. But I'm so sorry, y'all. <laughs> I do apologize from the bottom of my heart. <sighs> oh, shit. Okay, let's let's go. 
And I told him that yesterday we were talking about it. I was like, Benzie. I was like venting to him, like, we can't take you nowhere. Imagine we can't take you nowhere. I imagine that was Metro. Thank you, Manny. <laughs> um, we can't take you anywhere. I'm like, but he's like, it's because I'm the single guy. I'm the fucking single one. And I'm like, I feel it. Sorry, my phone's about to die. I'm like, I feel it on your end. Like, it, ha it, it dead has happened to us. Like, it's oh, like, you guys have something going on. You guys have something going on. It just goes on forever, friend. I'm just at this point, I'm like, I need a, I need more weight. I need more weight. It's like the community cousin. <laughs> community cousin, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Because of us. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's a lot, friend. I like that, though. Community cousin. That's funny. That's clever. And, um, and no shape or form has any, like, of us hooked up with Pedro. Like, any, any of our friends, anybody. But when we're all vibing and hanging out, and we've there's been multiple times we all hanged out in my house. There's been multiple, multiple, multiple. All right, okay. Let me let me go back where she deflects again about sixteen oh six. Uh, yeah, it's right here. I think. Do you see what you're doing, ma'am? <laughs> like <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah. 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 I already, I already talked about it though, about the fucks with him. Like that's how I talk. I did not mean it. Fucks with him, like sexually. I sorry. Let me go play that again, cause this is getting out of control, y'all. I'm sorry. I know you guys probably don't want to hear, it, but I do. I do. I want to prove a point here. Fucks with him and Bianca. I never did nothing. And I'm like, and if on us, I never did nothing. Hold on. Thoughts in your head. Ultimately, at the end of the day, you were insecure and you took it out on us. I never did nothing. I never did nothing. And I'm like, and if for any reason you thought I would do something, um, don't you know that? Yes, he fucks with him and Bianca. Like, Why do you have to like say you never did anything if, you know, you're talking about vibing? Brian wouldn't have been mad if it was something over vibing like, oh, he's a good vibe. It's, uh, he's he's funny. He's um, I don't know. Jeez, uh, jeez, Louise. Hold on, let me. Okay, let me go back to this. Sorry, I'm I'm going back and forth. I just have to. This is what I do. <laughs> this is what I do. At all, I'm, and and if you guys watch my videos, you guys already know. Like, oh, we fuck with him, like. I fuck with Pedro Hart, like that's how I talk. <laughs> but I know now, like you can't be talking like that to um, everybody, you know, like just your homegirls, your people, because shit gets taken like that, like sexually, and that's exactly what you guys do all the time. You take it like that, like you try to push it that way, like all the time. And Miss Lola, you pushed it that way. I'm sorry to tell you, <laughs> you really did. It happens to all of us, all of us. And it will never stop ha happening. It will literally never stop happening. As soon as you see an influencer hanging out with another one and there's two separate genders, you're like, they have something going on. They have something going on. Like it's literally happens and it will forever still happen because there's those type of people, the people that make it like that, that want to take it like that and don't realize like, oh no, like I've been watching Lola. She does fucking talk like that. <laughs> Listen, he said, Petro needs to get himself a lady already. And stuff. I know. So that's what I told Petro last night. I'm like, that's it. We're going to do this date. We're going to get you paired up. And all our fucking problems will go away. It's either that or you're going away. <laughs> Honestly, if I'm being 100% honest, your problems won't go away if Petro has a girlfriend. <laughs> they won't. They won't. Um, if you guys are being seriously, you both have to change for the good. And, uh, yeah, we'll see. Only actions, you know action show for real your actions i'm saying your actions will show within time but yeah it's don't think well never mind i was gonna say i don't think petro was a problem or is a problem but i don't know we find just somebody. kidding but no we fuck like we fucks with each other like that like i feel like that so it is that's like it, it sucks that i have to like do this you know but i feel like it's only my, my conversations that I have to have is with them 
and you know built that and sh and I did we talked we we've been talking and we probably still have talked even more because they're like what is going on over there in your fucking gossip bitch like I have not a lot of my friends didn't know that me and Ryan were going through this that they didn't know anything that was happening like I don't I don't go live and say everything and they we don't go and chit chat and gossip like oh my god this is happening and this happened at this event like after the event we're like deuces see you next event <laughs> and that's it we're not like she's most signing up or like connecting and talking we literally only talk like that's a lie because i'm gonna play you my name was brought up also with these messy audio which i did not see i well i did not know but my name was brought up and uh, well not being like she said she was not being a chismosa but okay like we'll see when we're like let's go, let's have a trip let's vibe and then the moments that we are together we're like all in we're all like vibing we're like period up period up and then we have a great time and moment and we say bye to each other and then again we link up same vibe you know so they don't know a lot of things that are happening so that's why i'm like i have to we still have more conversations to have but like my my what i have to do is to that person directly you know and my relationship with that person and I don't necessarily have to be like, oh, he's here. I want to go live and look, 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 we're doing this. I'm doing this. I'm going like that. I'm just here venting and talking about how I feel on my side because this is my page. Um, but I'm not saying this is the true story, right, correctly, this. I'm just saying this is how I meant it. And this is honestly me saying that. Hi. But again, you guys will do whatever you want with my words. <laughs> Bro, how are we going to do whatever? You literally said that, guys. And listen... I know I'm, I'm seeing comments. You really don't like Lo. No, I. it's not that I don't like her. It's just accountability is the biggest thing right now, especially what she's going through. And I'm going to stop playing this because I want to show you uh, Yessi's response and Bianca's response because they did respond a little bit. Bianca responded a little bit. I don't know if she said anything else, but I was sent a clip of her live. Uh, Yessi also did. She didn't make a whole dedicated live, I think, but she said something on her live um but yeah it's just not like it accountability is the biggest thing right now in this scenario in this scenario um but yeah let's go see what miss bianca had to say about this like i said i don't know if she said anything else but this was a clip that was sent to me Tina, absolutely honey i definitely agree i um i feel like i always have to get shown that I need to be careful and I am just so like friendly with everyone that I just don't know how to do that. But I definitely know that I cannot trust anybody and it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I choose not to engage into anything. Um, I just, I don't, um, you know, people can say whatever they want. And at the end of the day, I know who I am and I know what I do and I I choose not to like feed into it or become a part of it. I, that's not me. Never will be. Um, you do the best links. Thank you. I've had this liner for a hot minute and it, I feel like I need a new one, but I really like this. I don't know why I never was into using this one before. Cause I really like the formula. Um, I don't know if that's but, all she's... like I said, oh. I've said it again and again and again. Like, I don't trust anybody. Same. And I don't... Just so that you... Listen, I don't trust anyone anymore either. Um, yeah, I don't... <laughs> no, and I know that we're clear, like, that is definitely not true. Um, but, again, I'm not going to say anything. Come on, say something. So, um, yeah, I think that's all she said. Um, and then she talks about what she's doing, like her makeup. But, yeah, if if these ladies, Bianca and Yessi, decide to, you know, stay cool with uh, <laughs> with Lola, hey, uh, I don't know what to say, y'all. I don't know what to say. Uh, y'all are probably naive as fuck. But, you know, they're not dumb. They're not dumb. They know what... They're getting themselves into if they stay friends, you know, and I'm not saying they, you know, goes your separate ways. No, you do you. And if you want to be friends with someone like that, go ahead, go ahead. But anyways, let's go see uh, what Yessi said. Glam by Yessi. Everyone tag her. Ah, I'm just kidding. 
Uh, <laughs> bro. So I was like, I was in this live. What happened at the end of this live? I was literally rolling on the floor crying, like laughing, laughing. But anyways, let's see what she said in the beginning. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll continue this whole thing. Que amanecimos el, siendo el, el topic, el topic de las conversaciones. Que yo estoy hasta la verga. So I'm going to try to translate because I know a lot of people were in there saying, yo, I don't speak Spanish. What the hell are you saying? All right, I'm going to try to translate. She said, you know, we woke up being the topic of the day, which her and Bianca were the topic, you know, the screen recording. Por favor, porque siguen mala manía, siguen mala manía de ponerme con este muchacho que yo nada que ver. Y la mera neta que da bien pinche puta hueva, like, decirlo porque, qué hueva la cosa, cuántas veces uno lo tiene que decir, la mera neta. She said, why do I have to keep repeating myself? Like, how many times do I have to repeat myself? I did not do this, okay? And also, if you guys don't recall, I think baby, <laughs> I was going to say baby daddy. Her baby daddy did, you know, think something was going on. And imagine this coming out and affecting her whole family dynamic. I don't know. If, I don't think they're together. I don't know. But imagine he hears this and be like, I told you. I told you you were cheating on me. Te dije. Imagine that. That's going to break up, you know, I don't know what what's going on right now uh but it's just gonna make her it's gonna make her look worse with the baby daddy i love you amy says thank you this is my friend like i mean las lashes um shout out to lucinda but see sí, guys it's que la mera neta um it's un pinche puto cansancio la verdad someone said if bianca was effing petro how she was in a relationship at the time yeah i heard that too like, no, se, no les rozan el pinche calzón tener el pinche perro metido ahí, like, de tanto que hablan y, y tanto que dicen cosas, like, yo oí el, el, ¿cómo se dice? El voice message or whatever. Y decía, me da... Yo, Jesse, Jesse has me working double, dude, double overtime to translate. I keep forgetting to translate, but she said she heard the voice memo. Era la Lola hablando. You heard Lola talk. I know how Lola talks. She said, I know how Lola talks. People could take it out of context. Yes, see. Yes, see, no. We can't take it out of context. You heard the same thing we all did. Uh, but yes, I feel like Yesi here was 50-50. She was, I'm not saying she was, you know, defending Lola. Um, trying to, you know, back her up. But even the people in her comments were like, yo, don't back up Lola. No, we heard this. Bro. We heard what we all heard. But, yes. Like, they can, you know, take it out of context and stuff. It's not a context. Bitch, fuck. Like, no me pueden. Can I have your baby? Ay, llévatelo, por favor. Ya. Traen una si ya lo ando dando. Pero no me pueden, por favor, poner con un pinche puto. No me enojaría yo. Si fuera un pinche, no sé, like, modelo y ay, She no. said, I wouldn't get mad if the rumors were about me messing with a model. Um, yes. No sé, alguien como que sí había, a lo mejor. Pero, friend, es que ya yo tampoco no le quiero decir feo a mi friend. Porque I don't want to say Petra's ugly, but, uh, you know, I want a model. Mi friend is feo. <laughs> Pero no es mi tipo, pues, like, He's no sé alguien que yo, no sé, si ustedes en su mundo se hacen como que yo tuve algo que ver con él, ni nada de eso. I had nothing to do with him. Y no fue así. Y qué gacho me cae, porque mira, imagínate, yo tenía, en el pasado, cuando yo había ido al evento de Lola, yo tenía este, a, a Eri, al papá de mi Okay, now she's bringing up the whole, you know, her with her baby dad. I'm sorry if you speak Spanish, too, and I'm pausing. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to do my best for the non Spanish speakers, but she's saying, uh, yeah, it's just gonna make her look bad because she did have a problem with her baby daddy accusing her of being with Pedro. <laughs> Behind my ass, fucking thinking that shit, you know what I mean? Y, mamita, vete para allá. Sabes bien que es cuando hago mis videos, es cuando viene chinga. Thank you, John, for the six dollars. <laughs> dice un elotito. Voy ir, al, voy ir al, al stock show y me, lo, me voy a comprar una barbecue chicken leg, friend. Se me antoja. Pero si me entiendes, like I had to Barbecue still chicken, defend myself fuck. because yo estaba like, I'm talking about the video that they're tagging me in where Lola, hay un video circulando donde Lola dice que yo, yo, um, 
y Bianca, pues, we, we fuck with Pecho. There's a video y going estaba on. Like, oh, yeah, Dale burro con la hilacha. O sea, no, no sé qué hiciles, la mera neta. No sé qué hiciles, ya dirás tú. Ay, es un pinche puto modelo. Bueno, pues se perdió. <laughs> Vea, yo no estoy diciendo. She izquierda. says she doesn't know what to say because, uh, yeah, it's Petro. And... Es lo que me enfrenta feo, pero nomás no es mi chico. No es como que alguien que yo estuviera como que quisiera que me hicieran un rumor. Parece que estamos en high school, a la verga. It's like we're in high school, a la verga. Y no mames, ¿verdad? Y luego, pues, del fin del cabo que lo escuché. Eh, yo sé cómo habla Lola. I know how she talks. I know her lingo. And I know, like, I understand that it can get out of context or whatever. Pero sí soy yo mal. So, yo mal a la verga. Más porque people would already think that. Y luego dice... So, when she's saying, I know how Lola speaks, bro. It's, listen, yes, yeah, I like you, but you know. You know. It wasn't meant like that. It wasn't meant vibing. You know. Bueno, fuera. Y people, you know, think that. And I'm just like, bitch, but it wasn't not like that. So, for her to say, like, oh, but yes, he fucks with him. And Bianca fucks with him. And, like, I wouldn't um, do that if my friends fuck with him. So, I know how it sounds like. It sounds como que, like, physically. Como que ella, ella como que algo me conocía o algo. Y que ella dijo que um, yo no haría eso porque mis friends hacen fuck with him. Right? So, yo estaba like, ay, friend. Es que, mira, tú tienes muchas amigas. Y para nombrar nomás a mí a Bianca. So, you're saying she's still talking about the memo. And she's like, friend, you have a lot of friends. And to bring me and Bianca up, like, out of all your friends? Come on. Come on. O sea, no, o sea, parecemos putas, mija. Y podemos andar de burro flojo. Pero con pecho, mija, o sea, es que ya es otro cuento. Es otro cuento, ya dirías tú, ¿verdad? Eh, so, yeah, I heard it. Y si se puede, um, you know, get out of context y todo eso. Sí le hablé a Lola y le dije, ¿verdad? Le dije, I called like, Lola. Friend, like, que me conozco, que amiga. Porque ya at this point, so oye como que somebody, o sea, especially, pues, es que she's the one who said it, ¿verdad? I'm like, so oye como que you're putting a whole body count on me, como, con que yo no lo hice, ¿verdad? Y ahí dirías tú, mira, me lo hubiera echado. Yo no tengo por qué mentirles, ¿verdad? She said Lola just put another body count <laughs> on her. Uh, don't translate, let us hear. Guys, I, 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 I wish I could do that, but there's a lot of people that don't speak Spanish in the chat so i'm trying my best i'm not going to do word by word but i'm trying my best key moments porque ustedes ya saben mi situation ustedes ya saben que el papá de mis hijos me engañó yo porque voy a querer como ocultar algo así no a mí así yo me lo hubiera echado hecho sí me lo eché y qué she said her baby daddy cheated on her and if i did sleep with petra i would have just said it cuz yo he already cheated on me i don't have nothing to hide <laughs> i guess that's what she said i don't know y you know pero es como que no pasó así y me da corajido porque si me molestó que haya surgido de que I was upset it did bother me sí entre todas las amigas pudo haber sido mention I don't know es me some other so, todos sus todos sus friends yo quiero mucho a es me yo quiero mucho a todos sus a todas sus friends so he's still me. saying out of all the friends she brought me and Bianca and it could have been anyone else es me I don't know who es me is sorry es me but es me someone else friends eh, pero es just an ejemplo. I'm not trying to It's make just an up, example. Pero es como un ejemplo, pues. Es un ejemplo. Pudo haber sido mentioned como otras girls. Uh, y pues, it's just, it just gets out of context to the point where I It's have to like explain myself. Like, ay, friend. Pues, I don't know what you meant, pero that's not what, that's not cool for someone to say porque... La mera neta es como si yo diría, eh, no sé, like putting Bianca con otro guy. No, pues es que Bianca, pues, es que she's like fucking with him or vibing with him. No sé, no importa. Yo por qué lo voy a decir. Es at the same, it's just point blank period, you know. She said y she pues wouldn't Lola say it like that. Lola confiaba mucho en esta muchacha. Lola confiaba mucho en... Um, Lola en, trusted Gabby. En Gabby, que es ya yeah, su ex hermana, ¿verdad? Oh, sorry, ex personal assistant. Yes, sí, remember, personal assistant. Y ese es otro error, pero es que uno pues piensa que puede uno hablar eh, de todo con, con, 
con mujeres así, yo siento, o con, con sus trabajadoras, and stuff like that. Y entiendo que se puede salir de contexto, pero es que, pues ella lo va a tomar a mal, porque obviamente que Gabby pues, took it the way that most of you guys took it, como que fucking instead of like vibing or whatever. No, la verdad. You took it too that way, eh? You took it that way. Too. Day, bitch, like, ya no más falta que piensen que este chamaco es de pecho, mija. She said, at the end of the day, people are going to think this baby is Petro's baby now. No, we don't think that. We don't think that. Like, dale la mula al trigo con el Petro, mi hija, por favor. Like, no sé, no sé qué decirles. Y yo, la única reason por qué yo dije eso de Petro cuando Eddie me había hecho ese pancho en, en el... Oh, pausa, mija, porque soy madre. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué quieres, mija? <laughs> Estoy acá en el gym, mija. <laughs> she said pause um, sí, pues, mira, I had only mentioned it porque um, Eddie, Eddie en un tiempo ahorita me vale verga lo que piensa Eddie mira, ahorita no está en posición de pensar nada este muchacho ¿Vea? pero como yo she no, don't care what her baby daddy thinks of her right now because they're not together me ha dicho en un vivo una vez de eso de Petro porque Um, cuando nosotros subimos una foto yo y Petro en mi Instagram había a bastantes muchachas diciendo like oh you guys will make a cute couple y todo eso. damn when she okay I'm over here I'm over here exaggerating no when, but she's saying when she took the picture with Petro on her Instagram a lot of people were saying yo y'all make a good couple blah 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 and I guess her baby daddy got mad upset ya empezamos y I understand verdad So, por eso, Eddie me había hecho todo ese pinche pancho, mija, en el event de Lola. So, now, que ese video salió y Lola está diciendo eso, soy es so horrible. So, now y, that that video came out, saying that Lola, you know, threw them under the bus, it sounds bad. Verán, soy como que me hizo expose, pero no. Porque ella no lo hizo meant así. Bueno, es lo que dice Lola, que ella no hizo meant así. Es, es de esa manera. Lola said that she didn't mean it like that. That was taking out of the Si, content. nomás estaba, like, pues no sé, friend. Yo la verdad está nomás aclarando mi nombre, por favor. She just cleared no her name. No me metan en, en cosas sexuales con un muchacho que yo nada que ver, ¿verdad? Y qué, qué tristeza porque yo sí miraba a Pecho como un really good friend y me caía bien en... You know, he's just like, yo lo había hecho unfollow en un punto por lo que yo estaba pasando con él y que esos... I had unfollowed Petro. I saw him as a good friend, but I unfollowed him because my baby daddy. Uh, there were too many problems. Y aparte, pero ya cuando, um, ya cuando pasó todo eso con él, yo dije yo, ¿por qué lo voy a hacer unfollow si yo nunca hice nada malo? Vea, so I followed him again y todo. So yo miraba a Petro como un really good friend y ahora... Qué triste historia que nos pongan como que si nos acostamos ya, mijo, a este punto ya, ven para mi casa ya, porque ya para que de una vez se hagas de verdad, de de veritas, porque uno se cansa de tantos chismes. Pues ya de una vez, mijo, porque. Eh, no, she's saying, joke, jokingly saying, you know what, Pedro, just make it happen. Just come over, let's do the damn thing so people could. No, it's fucking true. <laughs> ya como que ya te pusieron en mi lista de, de yo con los que andar cansor flojo y. Eh, y no es exposing, mira, cuando ahorita estoy leyendo sus comentarios, pero no los estoy leyendo al lado. Dice que Ali, que Abby es la exposola. El pedo es que, mira, pues uno cada quien. The fart no, is, no I'm just kidding, I don't translate like that. No me importa, like, <laughs> a mí no me importa con quién se meten mis amigas y no me importa ni vergas, mija. Diez acres de vergas con qué hacen su burriquín a la verga, lo que quieran, hijas. Um... Cuando una muchacha hace eso, pues para mí nomás, me, o sea, yo me doy cuenta como, ok, pues la está haciendo expose o whatever. That's, yo no haría eso porque. She's talking about Gabby, how um, she exposed Lola and I wouldn't do that if I was a friend. But yes. Y yo si te dice call me friend, pues you were my friend y pues whatever secrets you told me, pues whatever, pues se va conmigo to the grave, pero. Whatever, uh, whatever secret you, oh, well, she said that. <laughs> so there were reasons why Gabby spoke out and leaked those. Razón por la que la está haciendo, no sé, no sé. Dice, yo también me como sobre el otro. 
<laughs> so dead. How many weeks are you getting? I'm 31 weeks, friend. No, y lo ahorita. Se me olvida que tengo huertos, mi amor. ¿Qué pasó, niño? No, gracias, muy amable, gracias. Thank you very much. Es que me da chorro, no sé, me So M&M's gave her diarrhea. Her son offered her. It wasn't recorded, Lola, in her voice. Sí, es como que ella le estaba diciendo a esta muchacha lo que ella estaba pasando con... I'm sorry. Someone's saying, why can't I hear anything? Can you guys hear? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's probably just that one person. But uh, if you go back and then come back in, you'll. I think you should be good. But I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming it's good. It's good on my end. El Ryan, me da, o sea, whatever. So yo le dije a Lola, mira, está bien si lo dijiste para calmar a Ryan. Está bien, mira, tú. Okay, so this is the part where she says, listen, I told Lola, it's okay if you said it to calm Ryan down. Because apparently Ryan was accusing Lola of sleeping with Petro. You know, the rumors, the cheese man, that was what happened. And yes, he was like, look, look, it's okay if you said, if you threw us under the bus to calm down Ryan, which... I don't think that was the case. Sí, que yo y el calla y que no sé qué y que yo andaba de vila, está bueno. Pero no estás viendo la tempestad y no te hincas en ella porque estás viendo que esta muchacha ya te está como que ella. She's coming after you, bitch. Like, she's coming after you. So, es como, like, yo le dije, Lola, I understand. Si lo dijiste, es como para ser calma, Rain. Pues uno como amiga, eh, uno como amiga, pues, like, I don't care como si mi friend me dice, friend, wey, sí que fuiste tú porque yo no, o así, whatever. Ah, pues sí, dígame, pues me vale ver. Eh, you know, pero me dice, la, no, pues sí, es que yo estaba, like, having muchos problems de algo, yo, ah, pues, entendible. Lola says she was having a lot of problems at home, and I don't know if, if that's why she said it. Uh, but like I said in the, like, in the beginning, why throw your friends under the bus if you could just say, bro, like, we have a happy family together. I wouldn't mess it up. Like, but instead she said, I wouldn't do that to my friends. Fish, fishy, fishy, sus. Pero si no había razón por la cual mencionar a mí y a Bianca, mía, y lo daña las más. But yes, there was no reason for her, for her name and Bianca's name to be brought up. Mi gallo y Bianca, pues todos se la van a creer, la verdad. No, mi gallo. But, yeah, okay, I'm not going to play the whole live, but that was basically it, y'all. Uh, she was kind of upset, but it, in my opinion, I'm going to tell you how it is. Chile Pelón, como dijo Jesse. Um, yeah, I feel like Jesse was 50-50 on this situation. Like, I feel like, I don't want to say backing her up, but, you know, she was still trying to be a good friend, right? She was still trying to be a good friend. Jesse also said, you know what, I don't want to go through this. I'm pregnant. I don't want to deal with this shit. We'll see what happens when I have a baby. She said that. And yes, I just feel like, you know, people should take accountability and no one should be backing anyone up in this situation. But if you want to believe what Lola had said, Yessi or Bianca, go ahead. You, you have the right to. You have the right to, right? So that's what happened. That's what was said. So let's go now to another person. Because another person came out with more leaked audio. Bro, a lot, I'm telling you, a lot of pedo, a lot of shit happened this weekend. This person goes by the name of Wake Up and Wake Up and Makeup by Steph or with Steph. Uh, she came out, did a live, and played some audio, which was really kind of messed up. And yeah, I, I want to review that with you guys. So let me go ahead and pull that up because it was an interesting live. It was an interesting live. And I do. Um, I do want to say like, I'm, I'm kind of like, like my bad Steph for, um, for not believing you at first. Cause if you guys don't remember, Steph did come out saying, yo, I wasn't, um, I wasn't appreciated at Lola's event, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, nah, like bro, she's, she's just saying shit. Cause I don't know. Like, I don't want to say clout. Right. Cause I don't like using that word, but jealous right i busted a I busted a lola like everyone's jealous right uh but now that um i see it my eyes are open um yeah hold on someone say yes he's oh wait i forgot to show you that yes 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 correct sorry 
sorry, sorry, sorry. Rewind. Let's go back to um to Yesi's live because something did happen at the end that I found kind of funny. Uh, hold on. I think it was here. So Yesi was doing her live, and this happened, y'all. This happened, which I I was on the floor crying like no. <laughs> and Yesi did not mean anything by this. Okay. Dice the necklace is turning green. Oh, it is. It is. <laughs> so someone commented the necklace is turning green, and this happened. Me la acabo de poner. Bro. Esto no es planeado. Te lo juro. Te lo juro. She said this is not planned. I swear Así to goodness. Han de traer el culo en las viejas que hablan de mí. Me la acabo de poner. <laughs> I just put it on, she said. No puede ser. Bro. I swear I showered. No vergas mames. Lo están viendo en vivo en directo a la verga. Perdónenme, discúlpenme. Verga. Yo no me quiero bañar otra vez. Ya me cabe el agua caliente. Bro. Mija, deja tu lunar. Someone said, Danny, translate el culo negro. Bro. <laughs> The black butthole? I don't know. <laughs> Bro, some shit in Spanish you cannot translate to English. So I'm sorry. No. Mi cuello negro. Her black neck, she said. No puede ser. Bro, what the fuck? Me da vergüenza moverla. I'm embarrassed to move it. A la vergation. No putas mames, güey. Me veo mal. <laughs> Me veo mal porque yo no quería. Yo no sabía que me iba a hacer el cuello negro. Bro, I'm literally crying right now. You can't see. No será esta. Porque primero me puse esta y dije, no, güey. Hold on, let me skip it because she does take it off and you can see the neck. A la verga. No se ve mal. Look at that. I just thought it was hilarious, bro. Like she obviously she did not do it on purpose. Um, she was just doing live and someone caught it. Like, yo, your neck, your neck. And um, yeah. <laughs> she said this wasn't planned. I don't want to start shit. Um, uh, so just in case you guys uh the minions are here, yo, she's not trying to start shit, okay? Uh, this was literally unexpected it happened like that which i bro that shit was hilarious but anyways let's go back to <laughs> wake up and step because she came out with some audios that were pretty damn good too that were pretty damn good and i was saying when uh steph came out a few months ago saying you know i feel unappreciated in lola's events um i did cover it and i was like uh it just, i don't know why would you come on uh on facebook and do this but if i'm being honest she was respectful, okay? She was respectful. And the only reason why I said, why did you bring it to Facebook was like, okay, as a as a PR person, you should have took it to Lola and said, you know what? This is how I feel. So she literally shows messages saying she did that. She did that. She told Lola. And it was just, you know, going in circles with Lola. But I'm not going to show you that uh, because it's a long, this is a long live, two hours and 40 minutes. I do have key moments here. Um, but if you guys want to go, go to your, want to go see it, go to her page, wake up and make up with Steph and she, you guys will see it. But first she gave a whole timeline of her experience with, with, I see Yessie's here. Yes. You're late. Yes. Uh, she gave her whole experience, uh, the timeline with Lola and that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, um, she was treated bad. And she also said that, um, Lola basically didn't want Steph in her PR team since the beginning. And I was like, then why have her, right? Why, why do this whole thing and have her on here? Uh, but Lola went as far to send other... Okay, so this is why I wrote. Um, so basically, Lola didn't want her to be on her PR team. But Lola went as far to send people other packages, PR packages, but forgot to send one to Steph. It's a whole ass mess. Once again, if you want to see her whole life, go to her page and you guys will see it. Um, 
But yes, I just want to show you guys the key moments of what happened here. Because the audios, and this is where I come up. My name comes up in these audios. And I was like, what the fuck? Plan con mania, dude. Plan con mania. Okay, so let's go to um, where Lola calls small and she ain't nothing to her. All right, let me okay, let me skip this. All right, I think it's here. Grab your snacks. Grab your snacks. I'm going to start playing clips from her, okay? And then I'm going to pause them and speak on it. That bitch, she's like small. She ain't shit to me. And she knows that, you know, she knows that that's what it is. So, and... Exposed 3 is like, here, I'm you guys. I've seen them watching. And that was Ryan event. Not she doesn't have PR. She doesn't have a code with Ryan's event. <laughs> she has a code in my my personal company, but I don't. I haven't sent PR to anybody like in forever. So, um, and the last time I did send her a code and paid her her two hundred, she kept saying, "Oh, make sure to follow Karina. 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 Make sure to follow Karina." I'm like, "Bitch, I'm gonna pay you two hundred dollars to say make sure to follow Karina. Make sure to follow Karina." And I shared her video as well, so I was like, "You're not fucking sending my followers to Karina's fucking shit, you know?" <laughs> Bitch, I can't promote something. I mean, I did my job. I promoted and showed what she said, but I'm I'm not going to sit there and make you guys buy something that's not worth buying, not worth spending your money on. I'm trying to be nice, you guys. I really did try to gather myself without being a hateful person, okay? But I'm not going to send you guys to buy China-made makeup. I'm sure a lot of <laughs> stuff is probably made in China, but you're not, not going to buy crappy crap crap shit, okay? I'm sorry. I'm not going to do that to my people. Thug life. <laughs> For the record, you didn't send us anything. Someone sent it to us. Yes, thank you. Because I don't want people to think that I was the one who sent that to you. So I was like, but you guys, I'm getting tagged in this. Okay, let's keep going. She wanted all this attention. It's like, bitch, you're supposed to be giving me attention. I'm not supposed to be giving you attention. It's not. The, you're supposed to be giving. Not the attention. Not the not fighting for attention. Giving me attention. Let me pause it really quick. It's not that I wanted attention, you guys. The fact, the fact that I was just trying to involve myself because from what I've seen from her past events is everybody showed up together. So I thought it was going to be like that. I didn't know I was going to be the only influencer that didn't get home with sent home with the PR thing. The only influencer that was told in like maybe 30 to 45 minutes before the event started where the event was in a whole. Yeah, that's kind of messed up. That's kind of messed up. Hole in the wall fucking backyard little building. And yes, I'm talking shit about the building because it was ghetto as all hell. But watch, listen. Not ghetto. I didn't want, like, I just didn't want her to think I was out there taking advantage of the fact that it's a free state. You know what I mean? I was trying to be as involved as I possibly can. Like, dude, if she needed help setting up the event, I would have even done, went and did that if she would have asked me to go help. Because why? I work for her PR team. You know, like, isn't that what people do when you're out there for business purposes? You know, and you know what? For all the females that are in here, oh, you can't get past this many views. This is okay. Let me <laughs> let me skip it. Uh, okay, yeah. Let's continue the recording. I just want to hear the recording. Literally work with only independent bitches that go around do their own shit. Like I don't have time for to be take. I don't have time to babysit. I don't have time to babysit that Selena girl. I don't, know. I don't have time to babysit you either. Like, Not babysitting Selena, bro. If y'all don't remember what happened. Oh my gosh. She really said not I'm not trying to babysit Selena. I'm gonna take my sweater off. That's ultimately why I like I like that I do the events myself because I'm like, they're like, what are you gonna go for? I'm like, baby girl, I'm gonna just be here cleaning. I don't know about you. Um, but everyone's going to blah blah blah. I'll tell them. I never associate myself with the after party because I tell them I'm gonna be here cleaning. Sometimes I am cleaning, we work. She says she never associates herself with the after party. Hmm. But sometimes the cleaning gets done fast, but I'm like, let's just go home, babe. Because I'm not, or, oh, maybe we'll go. But most of the time, we've been going just home. Because it's just too much. Too many people that want to kick it after. Yeah, 
I'm like, let her have her fucking little moment of time. That's the only event that she'll ever get fucking invited to on period. I, I now, did you hear her? Let her have her moment of time because that's the only event she'll ever be invited to. Wow. Keep listening. She, it's just, she hasn't even hasn't even told me anything. She's like, oh, thank you so much for your invite, blah, blah, blah. Like, she's being... Now, I did tell her thank you. I did. And I can show you those messages here in a second after I show you all these. But I did. I said, hey, thank you so much for your hospitality, being a smart ass, because there was no hospitality. <laughs> She definitely ghosted us. So okay, so now I know why Steph um, felt unappreciated or whatever she said on her live, which September last year. Um, now I now I know why. Now I know Steph. Oh fuck! I rewinded it. I'm like, let her have her fucking little moment of time. That's the only event that she'll ever get fucking invited to. On period. I'm, I'm like, you're. She, it's just, she hasn't even, hasn't even told me anything. She's like, oh, thank you so much for your invite, blah, blah, blah. Like, she's being really nice to me on the messages, but then talking shit about me. So when somebody brought it up, I was like, I, I could attest this. So, listen, Steph, she did not talk shit about Lola. She kept it professional. She did say, you know, I didn't feel appreciated there. I covered it. If you guys missed it, go scroll down or go to the Cheese Report, scroll down and see it. But yeah, I could attest. She, she kept it. She kept it professional. I don't know what you guys are talking about. You guys must be lying that she's talking about me because in our messages, she's thanking me. She says that she had a blast. She never said anything else. So, and she doesn't come say it to my fucking face and we can resolve it and we can make matters better and she doesn't want to. Then there wasn't really a problem. Then what you're, you're saying, it must not be true. And they were like, no, watch her video. I'm like, I'm not going to watch no video. Like I said, if it's not in my messages between me and that person, Anytime I have a problem with somebody, I message that person. I handle it with that person. So it and then for her to have the audacity to say that I'm not here to babysit anyone like her and that Selena. I don't know if you guys recall. That's crazy. But that's what she said. That's what she just finished saying. I don't, I don't have time to be sitting here babysitting her and Selena. Like, bro, Selena allegedly, and I don't know because I don't follow Selena. Like I met her that night at the club. Then I even seen her getting jumped. I didn't know that was her, bro. I did not know that was Selena getting jumped. When I tried to go walk up to go talk to, uh, what's the girl? The fuck was her name? <laughs> oh my god! I just saw it. She was gonna do the wheelchair thing. <laughs> Anya. When I went to go talk to Anya. To be like, what's going on, dude? Like, because I seen that they were all out there. And then I seen Selena after I walked up closer. Because me and my man went out to the car, came back. They didn't let us back in the club because the club was getting ready to close. So we were on the outside of the club. And if you've ever been to Westgate, I think is what that club's called in Arizona. Shout out Westgate. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But Selena allegedly got our ard that night. Okay? Mm -hmm. Allegedly. I don't allegedly. know how true it is. But for her to not even give a care in the world, like, bro, like, nobody's telling you, yeah, okay, you're supposed to sit here and babysit and shit, but that just shows what type of person she is. When people were mentioning it on my live, and I didn't even know that happened to her that night. I thought she, only just the, I didn't even know it was the whole jumping or anything like that. When people were mentioning that on my live and saying that she allegedly got this happened to her that night because she allegedly went with somebody. I don't know the whole story. I don't want to talk on it because I don't know. I can't give you the whole story. But for you to not even fucking care, like, she don't care. She may have supposedly apologized to the girl of that happening, whatever, whatnot. But if you go together and you invite people to your event, you would think that everybody would be okay. I get that, you know, that was the night before her event, whatever, whatnot, but you... To be kind of fair, it was it was the night before, yeah, she said, it, the night before her event, not the actual event that happened, but the night before. But you still invited people to come party with you, I guess. You invited them to go with you to that nightclub. Um, you invited us it. to go with you to that nightclub. And if I can recall, me and my man only had two bears at that nightclub. I don't drink very much, and neither does my man. Okay, I don't drink at all. Actually, I drink occasionally. Let me just put it like that. I drink occasionally. Very seldom do I drink. Very once in a while. I'll have one beer, two beers, maybe a shot. I don't know. If that. If the shot. But that night... I don't drink. Me atasco a la verga. 
<laughs> they had me. like three <laughs> bottles. I don't even I didn't even know you can buy bottles at the bar like that. Dude, it's been years since I've been to a nightclub. Like years on years. They had bottles on bottles and she's like, "Oh, friend." Yeah, they have girls to that bring it out to you. <laughs> okay, I'm just Listen, I'm trying to make comedy out of this. Okay? I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just fucking around. <laughs> bottles here i was like no girl i'm good i you know i went and bought a beer at the bar you know but thank you though you know what i mean i don't know if somebody's like I, i'm hella sketch when it comes to shit like i don't know if somebody's gonna slip something in that bottle or something you know what i mean like no but okay let's move forward hold on oh I, I locked myself out hold on not the typing she's not in my dms it obviously wasn't that bad it obviously wasn't that bad like she obviously doesn't want to fix it because she knows I'll fucking fix it. She knows I'll fucking fix it. She knows that I'm the one to apologize and be like, oh, so sorry that you felt that way. Um, she knows that. She just doesn't want that. She wants the fucking cloud. Now, why message her after I done been messaging her a million times, trying to involve myself? I was even texting Jess, Jessica Spoil, like, girl, like, what's up? When are we going? What are we doing? Are we meeting at seven? Like, bro because nobody was telling me like i don't know if you guys remember me going live that night in the motel or hotel whatever the hell it's called i don't know if you guys remember me going live that night okay she she did say that in the beginning like she kept messaging lola and honestly i think lola was getting annoyed because getting all the messages trying to prepare an event and yeah i lola did not respond but i strongly feel they should have like a schedule uh, for the people that go to these events like yo at eight they're gonna pick you up you're gonna be at the fucking party at nine it ends at 12 you go home after party whatever it is but uh yeah she did mention she was trying to get a hold of lola but she wasn't responding whatsoever but now let's get to the part where um steph and her man are apparently not attractive lola's words okay so let me go ahead and find it right now right here I'll show you guys all those messages here in a minute. All right, let's make our rounds. Let's walk around for people that are too shy to come up. And I mean, we made our rounds and then we ran into her. And I was like, oh, hey, friend. She's like, oh, my God, we're heading out. And I was like, oh, thank you so much for coming. Let's take a picture real quick. And we took a picture. And her, her man, they're, like, really, really not attractive. They really look like they I know she used to do heroin. I know. I never judged anybody for fucking drugs, but they... Oh Let God. me stop it right there really quick. That's bad. Okay? Before we move forward. This is what pisses me off. And this is what I'm doing. Because this bitch sweat. Oh, there I go. Trying to be rude. Hold on. This female has the audacity not only to talk on my appearance, not only talk about me, but talk about my man. The man who, why is it Jessica's page on here? Hold on, you guys. I don't even know why she's pulled up. Um, but not only that, but talk on my man. The man who went to support me. If it wasn't for him going to support me, like, bro, I would have probably turned around a long fucking time ago. And then talking about, oh, they do look like they're ex-heroin addicts, this and that. Wow. But that's not it. Watch. Hold on. Hold on. <sighs> Let me show you what this fucking janky really ass girl like said. Not really good. Um, again, I, we didn't judge him anything. Um, they didn't judge him, but he's judging. Off. Like, he was, like, super gangster. Like, just, you know, those gangsters. I was like, really, why do you have to have your whole shirt off with your whole, like, you could totally tell he was, like, mad talking a bunch of people walking around like that. It was, like, disgusting. Bug life. <laughs> now, first of all, bitch. No, I'm just oh. kidding. First of all, girl. Okay, let me just put it like this. Let me just put it like this. Isn't your prove it leader an ex meth addict? Oh, okay, shit. so I guess that's pretty disgusting for you to approach her and talk to her or whatever, you know? I guess you just um you you judge people by the book, you know what I mean? You judge a book by its cover. You don't take the time to open up and read it. Because maybe if you would have took the time to open up and read it, you would have seen that me and my man we're pure humble people we're from northern new mexico like you know we're puro gente like what the fuck Shout out new mexico. how dare you all because and i got like i said i got fucking 11 years clean under my belt i don't know what you got i'm with shout out to steph 11 years is a long time shout out shout out that's good bro that's good 
Pretty Shout sure you. you just got fucked up last night with the guy that, you know, everybody was assuming that I'm the one that triggered that whole relationship, right? Please. Girl, please sit the fuck down. And then to say that my man was mad dogging everybody with his shirt off, I told him to take his shirt off. I told him to take his shirt off because he left his short sleeve shirt on the bed at the hotel. We were already there. I said, babe, we're going to be getting ready to leave. He had his shirt off for the last 10, 15 minutes that we were at the event. If you guys were at the event, you would know because you guys would have seen him with his fucking shirt on. My man never mad dogged anybody. And I'm sorry that my man looks like a cholo. Because he had khaki slacks on and a muscle shirt. Like, a like that's our culture. We're Hispanic. You know what I mean? With the slick back hair. Like, that's just who we, that's who we are. And, I, and I'm sorry that our culture offends you. And it's disgusting to you. And disrespectful to you. Because there's a lot of Hispanics and Chicanos and that type of culture that fucking supports your business. Woo! Steph, 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 Steph. Let's get some cholos. I mean, Steph's on the chat, guys. Sorry, I saw cholos. Hispanic don't dress like cholos. Yes, but you, bro, she she preached. She preached, okay? Fucking. Mm. Just pisses me off. So, let me finish. But we, we, in my head, I'm like, everybody has a different style. Everybody, like, has a different style, you know, so when I go... Yes, dude, it was like a hundred degrees at nighttime. Like we had to go to the car because then I'm telling you, this event that she had was a hole in the wall fucking event. It didn't even have an actual bar. It had a fucking she had people come in with their own bottles with bags of ice to serve people. Like the fuck, bitch? Like ghetto. Like you want to call my man ghetto and that he looks like... Shit, I'm ghetto too then. Shit, I be doing that at quinceaneras, bro. When they say bring your own beer or whatever, like bring your ice. To fuck, I'm ghetto as fuck too. Shit. Right here, ghetto. Like a cholo mad dogging the whole fucking event. Like, girl, shut the fuck up. Sit down with your ghetto ass hole in the wall event. Oh, shit. Like, you're fucking goofy. Damn. With uh -huh. me and Ryan, Petro, and all his guy friends, like, we go out. Like, they act a certain way, you know? They, they're, if they get, like, a little loud, if Ryan and them are laughing, they get loud or whatever. They're not just a certain way, you know? I, I never, I never would want her to feel like, oh, the way that they act is not appropriate. Which, I don't think it's appropriate, but that's my shit. That's my shit on my head. None of your gear business. Um, so we said bye. She said she was leaving. She didn't say, oh, is there going to be an after party? She never said nothing like that. She says that we're leaving. And I was like, cool, what am I supposed to do? Like, oh, no, stay, stay, stay. Like, I'm not going to fucking kiss your ass. If you wanted to know where the event was, hit me up. Like, or say that there. They said it on the microphone, too. And we didn't even go to the fucking after party event. And I'm like, oh, my fucking God, this is so much. <laughs> This is seriously, seriously, like, what is going on? And I didn't want her to come to my house. I'm not going to lie. I didn't want her to come to my house because I had my kids there, and I had so many people there. I already had so many guests there. So it's wow. like people that get offended by your boundaries are people that wanted more from you. They want something else more from you. Interesting. We never, okay, let me talk about the house thing. I never asked her to invite me to her fucking house, bro. Why would I want to go to your house? Like, that's weird as fuck, dude. Like, she's, she, I, Dios mio. Yeah, I don't know why she would have people, like, other people in her house, but just because they look like cholos or ex-addicts, they're not going to your house. I mean, no, nah, that's, like she said, she's judging a book by its cover, but, yeah. Yeah, I'm, she's something else. I'll tell you that much. Is like, the worst ones, the worst people look hella innocent, bro. <laughs> like, those you got to be careful with. It's the same yeah, one. And then when we, me and Ryan were walking, oh. I, I, I told Ryan, let's make our rounds. Let's walk around for people that are too shy to come. Hold on. Ah! And I mean, we... So she can get cloud, but I'm like, I'm not going to fucking give you cloud, bitch. All these other girls are already getting cloud. All right, this bothered me, bro. She kept saying cloud. Una nube. It's clout. Clout with the T at the end. That bothered me. Sorry, I just had to say that because you're going to keep hearing Nube, Cloud. It's not Cloud. It's Clouds with a T. Excellent. Selena, whatever, Selena. 
um, Mo, Mo's video almost like got a thousand views. Like everyone's already fucking getting cloud here, and it's like. I, not, I'm not Mo. Gonna fucking push it. I know Cloud doesn't last. Bro, long. don't talk about your special guest like that. Not Mo. Like it's over. Like she's trying to insert herself so bad into this fucking cloud. I'm like, bitch, you are so. But she's so You're pressed about me I'm though. Not I'm not gonna fucking talk about you. My message is you are still trying to be nice to me. When you're talking shit about me, but you're still trying to be nice to me. Like give me my fucking money back for the hotel, bitch. Bro, at this point, everyone watching this and you still attend these parties, events, pay for your own shit. Pay for your own hotel if you go. Trust me. It's going to work. It's going to work better in the long run. She's wanting. I could give her her money. And actually, that must be a new message. I, that's the first message I heard from you guys. She must have just sent me those ones. I didn't hear that one over the conversation. I don't think she just sent it to me now. These were all when she sent. I made sure she sent them all to me the other day. We talked on Sunday. I didn't hear that one. But if she want her motherfucking money back, bitch, I'll give you your money back. That ain't no problem, ho. Like, the fuck? I never once asked to go to her house. Never once. I just wanted to be involved prior to the event, at the event, and that was it. Then we could have all went our own fucking way. You know what I mean? Mom, the baby... Okay, so let me skip it where Lola says, I guess people are using her. Um, 139. Hold on, guys. I did my best to have timestamps for y'all. You don't want somebody to start saying, oh, you don't, you don't even know who which ones are staff and which ones are not. It's like, it's so sad that you don't know me that much. Like, it's sad. Like, I, I can tell which ones are using me. Like, that wake up and make up my stuff. She's like, I never got the flyer. I was like, bitch, the flyer's posted on my website. <laughs> like they don't even go in and look they don't even know well, i don't even know who her manager wants somebody just start saying oh you don't, you don't even know who sorry guys i rewinded it again but let me pause it really quick she's talking right here about her whole pr team okay she's talking about her whole pr team not just me but oh, for shit. everybody i did not know that which ones are staffing which ones are not it's like it's so sad that you don't know me that much like, it's sad. Like, I, I can tell which ones are using me. Like, that uh, wake up and make up my stuff. She's like, I never got the flyer. I was like, bitch, the flyer's posted on my website. Like, they don't even go in and look. They don't even Just know. send them the flyers. Know. They're in the your PR. Because you don't follow me. Because you don't watch my videos. Because, and that just shows that you don't watch any of my videos. That you're really not support, our supporter. Because you know who, who my management team is. You know who my, lo my close friends are. You know all this, like, you should know this. And if you don't know it, then that's because you don't, you're not applying the resources and, and or you don't watch us enough. So I feel like we have to make it even like dumber for these bitches. So I'm going to invest oh, bro, in the said these bitches. And let me just say, I don't think a lot of influencers watch one another. I'm going to just be honest, okay? I'm going to just be honest. They don't watch each other's content, each other's live. They just hop on and say, yo, how are you? And get the fuck out. I'm being honest, okay? That's what it is. And uh, yeah, Lola's mad because no one was watching her. Um, or no one knows her. But yeah, it, that, that's how the game works, guys. That's how Facebook works, right? But if you're an influencer and love the cheese, man, I know you're here. I know you're fucking here. All right, let's keep watching. And if you guys can wear the name tags. I was going to say uniforms, but then I want you guys to dress up too. So like name tags... Um, and just put management team or a or separate a separate link. Not the fucking uniforms, bro. <laughs> Not the uniforms. And linear that says management team in pink, and we can just keep using those ones, like the really large ones. Sorry, I ate a hamburger because I'm so depressed <laughs> for breakfast. Um, <laughs> bro, fuck, I must be I must be depressed every day. Shit, I eat hamburgers every day. Fuck, I'm depressed. And um have that where you guys can walk around and maybe kind of be like hey are you guys having are you guys doing okay let us know if, we, if you guys need anything um maybe have you guys walk around periodically like that um because i i, I just i just can't but ultimately I, yeah the whole uniform comment was i think for her pr team or management team i want to say pr team it's better this way i know it's for better the bitches this way. 
Okay. And then there's one, two, three, four, five more. So hold on. Damn, five more? With her doing her little feedback, but I don't give a fuck about that bitch. She's like, I didn't even want to invite her. And now, she like, didn't even I, want I, to I, invite I, me. She did what she did why the fuck did you invite me then, ho? I exactly. reached out to you prior to this because you were acting some type of way after the altercation before between Karina and the other party. And everybody knows about... And thank you guys for the stars, whoever sent them. Sally, thank you. Or Shelly, sorry. Um, you were acting like this who knows how long ago, girl. Like, back in January 2022, when I... If you guys missed the beginning, this video will be up, Okay. But you were acting some type of way back then, baby girl. Like, don't act like, don't be faux to me, bitch. Like, why be a faux female? Like, seriously, there's no reason to be faux. So I'm, I'm guessing faux is fake. Correct me if I'm wrong. Don't be faux to me. Like, let's keep it real. Let's keep it a buck, you know? Like, the keep hell? The there's no reason that you had to invite me to this event if you didn't like me since the get-go. Sitting here trying to turn the tables, saying that I didn't like you since the get-go because I did nothing but be nice and humbled myself towards you uh -huh. and was very understanding towards every situation that you, with your rambling on messages, you know? Like, seriously, I was nice about everything. I really, really was. Hold on, let me read this comment. Uh, I love it. Hold on, let me see. Uh, where is it? See, Fred. Hold on, guys, sorry. You're so biased, Danny. It's clear you can't stand low. Oh, my God. Did you miss the whole first of the... Bro, I literally said I was blinded. I was blinded. I, I liked Lola in the beginning, bro. Everyone did. I love it. Uh, Rosie Lopez. Shout out Rosie Lopez for that comment. <laughs> Shout out to you. But damn. It was. And it's like, and you want to sit here and act this type of way? Yeah, I tried talking to you, seeing if we were good. And, you know, evidently we were, you know? And then, I don't know. It's weird, bro. All this shit, like when all this came to light, it was weird to me. I was like, like, I really, really wanted to go. Like I said, I really wanted to go ham. And there's so much hateful things that want to come out of my mouth. And I want to be so nasty about it. And I really shout out to everyone in the uh, hold up. shout out to everyone in the doctor's office. Shout out. Shout out. I want to just, you know, say how I really feel about her and start talking about like you know, hurting feelings. I really want to hurt feelings, but hurt people and hurting feelings like that. What's where is that going to get me? You know what I mean? Where is that really going to get me besides hurting her feelings? All right, guys, I'm going to leave you with this video running and I will be back uh, in like two minutes. In two minutes, I'll be back. I know you guys like commentary, so hold on. I'm going to leave it playing. Hopefully nothing good happens. But if it does, let me know and I'll backtrack. OK, you know, all of that at least i'm able to talk on my experience i was able to talk about it then i'm able to let people know like you have no right to sit here and talk on someone like me like that you know what i mean especially if you're an, an active user of alcohol like seriously do not fucking sit there and talk on me and my man and that's what pissed me off the most let's finish playing these recordings guys because now i don't have to fight her um but yeah me and Ryan were like, Let's just oh, thank you for 500 stars, like, Queen. Christina, thank you, babe. My management, we just sat down and wrote it together. But I was like, if it comes from let me rewind that because I think you guys couldn't hear it. All, Hold on, um, I'm gonna rewind this one because I want you guys to hear it. This is her sob story post. Watch when all that shit went down. Let's keep it a buck, now. girl. Let's keep it a buck, okay. I would have organized it Not better. me talking like my kids. In Fresno. Like, Lola made me feel like this, da, da, da. like all this other shit with her doing her little feedback. But I don't give a fuck about that bitch. She's like, I didn't even want to invite her. And now like, I, I, I'm happy that she did what she did because now I don't have to invite her. <laughs> um, but yeah, me and Ryan were like, let's just make a public announcement. And I just put it like as if Ryan wrote it. And my management, we just sat down and wrote it together. But I was like, if it comes from you and my management team, then we all, um, we all kind of, uh, I mean, the people. Does she have a management team then? If she wrote that herself? We'll be like, okay, this is coming from their management.
has been too. You know? So if you guys want to comment on the post and just mm. be like, um, we just want everybody to have fun, be safe, and then put love um, your um, your management team or love Lola's management team or Dash um, management team. So um, everybody can on the same page because starting plan oh wait i heard my name starting planning your plot yeah report is on the motherfucking thing now i saw them commenting on most thing i'm like are you fucking kidding me so i was like i told ryan just make the public announcement and then uh, when they cover the story they're gonna probably cover that where we were like this is not gonna fly so i said danny please get exo jazz on your podcast guys i'm trying i'm i have to send the message out um but you know what? I'll probably do it today, okay? Um, that's, I want my next guest to be Exo Jazz. Okay. Now, let's talk about this really quick. You know, someone mentioned, you know, Lola's probably having ep episodes using her mental health, this and that, okay? I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty sure I've never really been diagnosed with, like, mental illness or depression or anything, but I lost my both my parents 10 months apart. I lost both of my parents 10 months apart. I was 21 years old when I Sucks. lost both of my parents, okay? 21 years old. My oldest daughter, she was only two and a half, I think, around that time. And um, after that, I fell into addiction. That was a way of numbing my pain. Addiction was a way of numbing my pain. I'm not going to say I, I'm going to use it as an excuse, because that's no excuse for me to. Okay, I'm a. I must just skip it a little bit. Like I said, if you guys want to go watch her, go to her her page. But I want to hear the part where she mentions me. Uh, let me see if this one's it. I don't. Hold on. Let me see this one. Mm, nope. What the fuck? I think it's one fifty. Let me see. Ryan was the one who told Gabby to expose nope. Lola. That's really sad. Point blank, period. <laughs> what? Isn't that... Wait, what? I wasn't even trying... Hold on. Hold on. Ryan was the one who told Gabby to expose Lola. That's really sad. Point blank, period. Oh, no. Isn't that sad? Isn't that sad? What the fuck? And then now wanting to be hush-hush, you know? Like, if Lola... I feel like Yessie right now. Fuck, this wasn't planned. <laughs> Bro. No mom is... Let me check my neck. No, seriously, no. What? I'm speechless. I am speechless. <sighs> oh, my God. Yessie, I know how you feel now, dude. Us sitting here and you know, threatening to take your kids away, what else are you supposed to do? Like, blink twice, Ryan, if you need help. You know? Like, damn. Threatening to hit him and then take his kids away? Like, you know? Yes, and we... Sad. Hold on, hold on. Yes, I totally... I skipped that whole part, bro. Okay, so in the memos, Lola claims that she wanted to hit Ryan um and which i was like bro damn toxic toxic not a good look but when she when she came out let me make myself big when she came out with her apology her response talking about i did not mean it like that i meant it like vibing she i don't think she mentioned anything about the the hitting um she was <laughs> more worried about losing friendships which sucks um but yeah damn okay Okay, let, sorry. Let's let's keep playing this. Let me rewind this. You know, years and she put on the back burner because oh, she I was went helping too far. somebody else with their business. Point blank, period. Isn't that sad? Isn't that sad? And then now wanting to be hush-hush, you know? Like, if Lola's sitting here and, you know, threatening to take your kids away, what else are you supposed to do? Like, blink twice, Ryan, if you need help. You know? Like, damn. <sighs> Threatening to hit him and then take his kids away? Like... Wait, so, so did Gabby get paid by Ryan? I don't think so. But fuck, imagine. You know? It's sad, bro. Like, that people do that and they use things and try to take advantage of it. And don't you ever speak on somebody else's addiction. 
if you ain't ever walked a mile on their shoes. I told my story. And all they know is what I told. And I tell the truth with my story. And I'm not ashamed of my story. If she thinks that I look like a heroin addict or an ex-heroin addict or a current heroin addict, well, then I guess that is her opinion, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot that I can say about this girl and there's a lot that I can say to hurt feelings, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, let's finish. I think we have some more messages. Let me see. Damn, what? Um, she wants me to address it. She wants me to address it so fast so she can get cloud. But I'm like, I'm not going to Can we listen to this one? All these other girls are already getting cloud, like Selena, whatever, Selena. We listen to that. Um, because I'm going to be honest. Okay, how is Selena getting clout from your event? If it didn't happen in your event, it happened the day before. It... Make it make sense. And, bro, she, she allegedly, right? Allegedly, because we don't know. We haven't confirmed it yet still. But she allegedly got R-worded. So, I don't... Bro, like, she's just telling what happened. Like, she got jumped. She's just telling her story. Like, any other influencer goes live and tells, yo, this is what happened to me. Like, bro, no one's trying to get cloud. Clout. I, I don't want somebody to start saying... And then the wake up and make up by stuff. She's like, oh my God, I should, I would have organized it better. I'm going to throw an event in Fresno. Like Lola made me feel like this, da, 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 like all this other shit. Let me pause it right there. I never said I was going to throw an event. I said, if I were to throw an event and I'm going to share this live that I did back in September. Okay. I, I want to, she said she didn't want to throw an event, but she's defending herself. But I want to go see where I was brought up to the situation. Cause if I'm being honest, I felt some type of way. I felt, I feel sucia. I feel used. No, I'm just kidding. No, I feel used. Um, now that I see it, I'm a pendejo, but okay, let's, let's go. Let's see it. Yeah. We heard that one. So, like, I wanted to grow PR, so I don't want other girls to feel that way or try to think, like, is it that way or not? Like, new people, you know? And then also, um, since Stephanie hasn't apologized, I mean, since Stephanie hasn't, like, wrote back to me, like, just to tell her, like, you know, I'm sorry that you wanted more attention. And hopefully soon I get big and people handle everything in my, in my um, events and I can just show up and have so much time in my hands. But, you know, I don't have that much time in my hands. I do everything by myself right now. And... Um, everybody has a value, you know, everybody has their value. So, um, shout out, you know, to her, she understands her value and she knows where she stands. And, um, currently right now I can't provide that. And, um, I feel like I did everything that I could in my power. And if that's not like, I feel like if, if I know deep down inside that that's all I could give her, I, you know, there's really, my hands are tied. I can't do much now either, you know? So I wanted to, um, do an interview with the chief member report mm -hmm. and i would go to his house to do the chief member report live and then kind of just um have it's gonna be like him asking me questions okay so at this point i didn't even know i was gonna do an interview with her like she probably was gonna reach out to me and say yo can i go on there and uh tell my side of the story i did not know but i'm gonna keep it 100 with you guys after i had ryan on i told ryan like yo um lola has an open invite to come on whenever she wants uh it could even be both of you both of you come on and uh yeah tell your story or whatever but at this time i did not know <laughs> she was she wanted to come on here <laughs> at least that i don't remember right Ay, Dios mio. thank you for the stars you guys i'm so sorry that i'm missing missing everybody that's sending stars i really truly do appreciate it thank wow. you wow <laughs> and then um you know, then this happened, then this happened, and then she involves World Cosmetics and me, and then it started unraveling, right? So, um, everybody on the... Yeah, and then going back to this, because I was mentioned, she said, Lola said she wasn't with the drama, okay? Or with the cheese man, but hey, baby, I'm the cheese man report. I'm the cheese man report. The cheese man report covered it. The cheese man report covered it. There wasn't really much said about me. It was just kind of like, you know, um, very much like small cosmetics and and i haven't heard this message yet these ones 
Gabby, I guess maybe she didn't send them to me or show them to me, but when she sent me all the messages, maybe these are extra ones she forgot to send me, so we're hearing this together. And her, because they have history, she has mentioned a little bit here and there about my, me and how she was treated at, her, at my event. Um, so that's why I kind of was like, okay, that... So I said Danny, Ryan, and Lola were plotting on you. Honestly, on, I'll give my thoughts. Let's just, let's just keep hearing this. That is kind of like bad stigma out there. So um, Ryan's been talking to the Chase My Report guy, and he, she, we sent him that clip that I sent you guys, the one that we responded back to her, da, da, da. Um, but I was looking through my messages with her, and I responded back to her very, somewhat quickly, um, and never left her, like, on red or something like that. Like, I always kept responding to her. And um, Ryan sent it to the Chief My Report guy, and then um, we and him were just talking, and we were thinking... He's like, why don't we do... I honestly can't remember uh, if those messages were sent to me. I'm going to have to go through my messages. Uh, but I honestly can't remember right now. A, um, I was telling him, why don't we do like an interview setting? Because that guy, the chief mayor of work guy, he lives here in Arizona in Avondale, which is not that far from us. And um, the, uh, on the end of his video, he asked, I'm going to um, I'm gonna see if Lois has said anything about it. And... Um, everybody was like, no, Lola, Lola's not going to say anything. Like, she doesn't deal with BS, blah, blah, blah. Like, da, da, da. people were like, Lola's going to take the high road, blah, blah. A bunch of shit about me not saying anything. Um, so he's like, okay, well, she hasn't posted anything. I don't know if she'll post anything. We'll see what Lola has to say about this. Hmm. So um, I told Ryan, I won't say anything on my page because in the comments, they were like, one of the, one, uh, some comment was like, oh, of course she's going to go live. All the influencers are going <laughs> She was going to use me for her dirty work. Hey, I love it though. I love it. Live. They're going to use it to get views and get um, platform or blah, 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 get cloud and all this other stuff. Okay, so you know how everything is happening when you wake up and make up by staff? Um, I got it, baby. Um, so we sent a message, um, you know, she, um, didn't respond, which was fine. I didn't expect her to respond. And I didn't respond. Um, but I know After I did my live, I was done. Okay, I think that was, that, hold on. Um, she's that was live. good. What, what, a little by little, I heard a little bit things. And like I'll show you guys my messages percent. now. Um, she's been kind of just talking about me and then she kind of brought in, um, Okay, so here are my thoughts with the whole thing. Someone said they were plotting on me. Bro, I... Listen, I told you guys in the beginning I was naive as well as a lot of you guys are right now. Well, not you guys in the chat, but uh, <laughs> but a lot of you guys that, you know, still don't see the realness. Um, Bro, I now that I think about it, yes, maybe they did use me for for that you know uh and i'm gonna say something else too because this is what i'm feeling right now in the moment um the whole the whole listen i know i'm not trying to speak bad on ryan you know he he's i guess my friend right my friend um but i noticed when uh after that podcast we really didn't we really didn't talk as much anymore i mean we talked but it wasn't like the same and i'm not i'm not gonna sit here and say yo we were friends for like five years no we literally met twice and that was it and like i say i'm not disrespecting him in any way but this is just how it, it feels now that I'm, I'm i'm seeing these messages um after the after we did the podcast um a while back uh well first thing when i first met him uh, he did tell me his plans on starting a social therapy, I think, with like a podcast. And I was like, OK, cool, for sure. If you need any help, let me know. I know a lot about tech. Obviously, I run my own show. I have podcasts or whatever. And then, um, yeah, that happened. And then when he came to the podcast, we we kind of didn't talk as we we did, I guess. And then a few years later, he I made him a list, bro. I made him an Amazon list of what to buy for his podcast. And I'm not sitting here saying, yo, he used me for that. No, kind of. Uh, no, but I mean, I guess he he used me for like, um, in my opinion, for Lola stuff and for his social therapy stuff. Like he didn't know he did not know where to start with the whole podcast. So he knew I was into this. He knew I started this or whatever. And he wanted help. And, bro, I, I'm, I love to help people. Right. You need help. I'll help you. I'll send you a list. But now that I see it, I was like, huh. Blanco mania, like you knew what you were gonna do this whole time, bro. Um, but like I said, I'm not trying to bash him anyway. 
Um, I don't know. I don't know if I consider him a friend, uh, maybe a colleague, <laughs> a colleague. Uh, and I'm going to say this right here because I know he doesn't check his messages, but he he's going to see this. Um, yeah, like colleague, um, friendly, not a friend, but friendly to one another. But yeah, I don't know. I after seeing this is probably like, yo, keeping my distance, you know, being aware of my surroundings. But yeah, hmm, interesting. Danny helped me start a podcast called Cloud Chasers. Bro, let me be your guest. Let me be your first guest or your co-host. Uh, Danny, he's not your friend. He's an acquaintance. I guess, colleague, whatever. We work the same freaking, we do the same job, kind of. But damn, bro, that it kind of sucks. Like, I did not see this coming. I did not see this coming. And I was being nice. I was being the nice one. You know, when there were when there was cheese men going around, with them, I will hit them up. I'm like, bro, do you want to tell us your side of the story? Blah, blah, blah. And uh, yeah, he was like, yeah, this is what happened. He wouldn't say much. Obviously, I'm not going to say what he said, but he wouldn't say much. And uh, yeah, it just it kind of kind of sucky, kind of bummy. Uh, but fuck. Uh, do I have a crying soundbite? <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, I have this one. Hold on. Hopefully it's one. Okay, crickets everywhere. Crickets everywhere. No, but uh, yeah, guys, that's about it. Just saying this for the end. Um, a snake can shed its skin, but it's all a snake. It's still a snake. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's like a slap in the face. Huh? Yes, a slap in the freaking face. But I don't know, guys. Like I said, um, acquaintance, so... <laughs> now Danielle sad now yeah fuck I'm fucking sad I'm gonna go buy a Whopper to be honest and some fries maybe a Coke a large Coke a large Coke and uh yeah we'll see we'll see what happens I don't like I said I'm all here for the cheese man <laughs> but guys thank you guys so much for being here this is all I had for you guys today um I do have to get going down an hour and 50 minutes sheesh sheesh um, but yeah, guys, if you guys could do me a big favor, Facebook, my TCR page is asking, uh, asking up, acting up. Please follow this page. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna go live here for the rest of the week or on YouTube. YouTube, you can find me as the Cheeseman Report. And yeah, every social media, the Cheeseman Report I have, except for Twitter. I don't have Twitter. So yes, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. But like I said, if Facebook doesn't fix what's going on tomorrow or Wednesday by Wednesday, I'll probably be here. Maybe. But I'll let you guys know. But any, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you guys so much. I know you guys love the cheese, man. Please share this video, react to it, whatever you guys want to do. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.